Hi, I'm Troy from Studio 33 Guitar Lessons. The video you're about to watch is an excerpt from one of our courses called the Kickstarter series. Kickstarter is a multi-level course designed for beginner all the way to intermediate and advanced. If you like this video, you can get the full course at our website, studio33guitarlessons.com. Also, make sure you click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our next video. Thanks for watching. Usually when you're playing 16th notes in a strum pattern, you don't play all 16 notes in that bar. Usually you'll take some of those notes and add them into the strum. The same way that we don't always play the eighth notes, we add ands after certain beats to give it that rhythmic interest. So what we can do is break this up a little bit and just take parts of those 16th notes and add them into our bars. So the first one that we're going to look at, we're going to play down strums on one, two, three, and four. And then we're going to add a couple of 16th notes after beat four. So instead of playing four E and a, uh, we're going to add in the and and the a. Uh. So it'll be four and a. Uh. With our muted strings, that strum pattern would sound like this. One, two, three, four, and a. One, two, three, four, and a. One, two, three, four, and a. So basically what we're doing is we're skipping the E. When we get to that four, it's four E and a. We're just not playing that E. So if we add that strum pattern to the chord progression, it would sound like this. One, So you can add that and a after any of those beats. So you could play one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. The most popular strum with this pattern would be one, two and a, three, four and a. And that would sound like this. One, two and a, three, four and a, one, Just like we did with the eighth note strums, we can also skip some beats. So let's start with skipping beat number two, but then adding in 16th notes and a after that skipped beat. So that would be one, skip two, and a three, four. So that would sound like this. One, two, and a three. Now we can carry on adding some 16th notes after some of the other beats. So let's keep skipping beat number two and let's add the and a after two and after four. So that would sound like this. One, two, and a three, four, and a one, two, and a Let's continue to skip beat number two. Now let's add the and a after every beat except for beat number one. So we're gonna have one, skip two, and a three, and a four, and a. So that'll sound like this. One, two, and a three, and a four, and a one, two, and a three. So now we can start adding in one more 16th note in these strums. So we're going to add in the E from that group of four. 
So let's try that first after beat four. So one, two, three, four, E and uh, one, two, three, four, E and uh. So let's try that with the muted strings first. So that would be one, two, three, four, E and uh. one, two, three, four, E and uh. So that group of 16th notes, you can think of that as a separate group. And you can try those 16th notes up and down, up and down. So one, two, three, four, E and uh, four, E and uh. You can try those over and over again. Four, E and uh, four, E and uh, four, E and uh. Once you're comfortable with that, let's try it with the chord progression. One, two, three, four, E and uh. one. Now again, I need to emphasize that when you play those 16th notes, you're going to want to play them fast and there's going to be a natural tendency to speed up. Really pay attention to the timing, turn on the metronome and get that steady beat in your head and make sure that that four e and a uh, fits into just that one beat. You don't want to try and rush through that and speed up your strum. You want to keep it really steady. And now, as you probably guessed, we're going to add those 16th notes after beat number two and beat number four. One, two, e and a three, four, e and a one, two, e and a three, four, e and a one, two, e and a three, four, e and a one, two, e and a three, four, e and a one. Now let's try adding those 16th notes after beat three and after beat four. So one, two, three, e and a four, e and a one, two, three, e and a four, e and a one, two, three, e and a four, e and a one, two, three, e and a four, e and a one. Next, let's add those after, do it after beat number two, after three, and after four. One, two, e and a three, e and a four, e and a one. Now let's try a similar pattern to the one we just did, but now we're actually going to skip beat number four. So this is going to be a little bit tricky. We're going to be going one, two, three, E and a, uh, skip four, E and a. Uh. So let's try that with the muted strings first. One, two, three, E and a, uh, four, E and a, uh. one, two, three, E and a, uh, four, E and a. Uh. So if it helps to think about it as down and ups, that would be down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up. Let's slow that down a little bit. Down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up. Let's try that with the chord progression. Down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up. A little bit quicker and that one would sound like this. <laughs> 